All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. All right, the nation of Israel consists of you so called blacks, Latinos, Hispanics, Native, and Seminole Indian descent. All right, and then you have Israelites that look like the other nations that are scattered around the world. All right, uh, I was on Wikipedia. Uh, I actually was on Google looking up some stuff about the coronavirus. All right. And uh, something well, I happened to uh, come across uh, a brother's video because I jumped on. I jumped off from Google to YouTube and it was talking about uh, what well, he had uh, a video talking about, you know, uh, a babe. Uh, actually, let me get it. Babe, uh, babe's desire, uh, yeah, he did a sit down on, on babes. All right, now I'm, I'm going to break it down. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, they may grow thereby. All right, so... A uh, a newborn babe will be uh, somebody that's new coming into the truth. You know what I'm saying? You wake up to find that you're an Israelite. You know, so you'll be like unto a babe because you know a baby, they don't know nothing. All right, and uh, so that sincere milk that they desire is uh, the the basics of the scriptures. You know, for example. You know uh, about Jacob and Esau. You know that, you know if you're uh, if you're from who I named, you know an Israelite of who I named, you know amongst the Latinos, Hispanics, you know the blacks, uh, Native Seminole Indians. You know that's that's a part of that milk. All right, and uh, so you know, so you know about Jacob and Esau. You know about Noah, what happened with Noah, you know about Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, you know about Egypt, you know, um, you know about Adam and Eve, you know, the breakdown about Adam and Eve, you know, it wasn't an actual snake. It was a man. It was also other people on the earth at that time because you had something called uh, the Adamites, all right, the, the family that uh, Adam came from. All right, and then uh, what else? You know about uh, America? Well, I don't know if that's part of the milk or the milk, but America being Babylon the Great. You know, uh, you know about uh, the siege of Jerusalem, seventy A.D. and before that. You know our history. You know. Um, so, basically, this sit-down that I'm about to do is for the babes, all right, and for a correction that I found on uh, Wikipedia, all right? So, we're going to read this. So, this sit-down is really is really going to be called uh, um, Why Whites, Why So-Called White People Hate Blacks, all right? So, I'm on Wikipedia. All right, and it has two. Uh, uh, well, these characters right here—they look like Edomite, so-called white people, but that's not the truth. All right, it said that Adam was formed from the ground. Now, what color is dirt? Brown. All right, it's not black dirt; it's brown, from the lightest of dirt to the darkest. All right, so let's start this off. The relationship between fraternal twins Jacob and Esau, sons of Isaac. Oh yeah, that's another milk uh scripture is knowing that Yahweh, all right, uh who the world ignor ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, the so called black man, and Yahweh, all right, who the world ignor ignorantly calls God, all right, that's another milk scripture. You know, it's, it's in Revelations and Book of Daniel, all right. And Rebecca 
focusing on Esau's loss of his birthright to Jacob, birthright to Jacob, all right, and the conflict that ensued between their descendants, their descendant nations because of Jacob's deception of of their age and blind father, Isaac, in order to receive Esau's blessing. <sighs> Mm. All right, to receive Esau's birthright and blessing from Isaac. Now, uh, it you know, it says that Jacob deceived. Really, he didn't deceive him. Uh, he more so hustled. You know, like uh, the name Jacob, which they're going to get wrong, is really Yaquab, which means surplant. All right, to surplant somebody. Basically, you hustle. You hustle them out of, you know, uh, giving you something or you do a trade. Hey, uh, I'll give you this for that. You know, I, I found that. I find this, what you have, you know, whatever it is, I find that valuable to me. And you want what I have. So let's do a trade. And that's what basically what happened. It wasn't like he just deceived him, you know, like he just fucked them over. Excuse my language or whatever. You know, that's not really what happened. All right. Uh, and uh, his mother, Rebecca, was all for it. All right. Because ultimately, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, all right, the Heavenly Father made it to where, you know, Jacob would receive the blessing. Why? Because, like how it says in Romans, let me get that. Uh, I think it's Romans 9. Uh, Yeah, Romans 9, 13, I was going to say 9 and 3. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. All right? And the Lord hates Esau for a reason. Now, you Israelites that look like Esau, you know, but your spirit is not of Esau. <clears throat> You're one of us. You know, the Lord loves you. All right? Um... And the Lord hates Esau because of what happened also with, with Cain and Abel. That spirit of Cain it, uh, went to the spirit of Esau, which uh, you, you Edomites or you so-called white people, all right? And you hate the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, Hispanics, all right? N uh, Native and Seminole Indians, like it. You know, you hate us because of uh, this, this feud between Cain and Abel and those two spirits went to Jacob and Esau. So you have that today. That same conflict that we're reading about right here and the conflict that is shoot between their descendants, nations, all right, that still goes on to today. All right. The conflict was paralleled by the affection the parents have for their favorite child, Isaac, who had a taste uh, for a wild game, loved Esau. So Isaac loved Esau. But Rebecca loved Jacob, all right? And they got the scriptures, all right? Um, so, the reason why we fight the conflict was foreshadowed. And the children struggled together within her. So, our forefather, Jacob, was fighting, um, so to speak, our uncle, Esau, all right? Because, you know, they're brethren, you know? So, white folk and so-called black folk are kin, all right, uh, truthfully speaking. So the children started, struggled together within her. She said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Yahweh. When you see the Lord in all caps, the abbreviation is YH, uh, uh, which means Yahweh. All right, it's not Yahuwah. You know, there's no uh, ooh sound in the Hebrew. And the Yahweh said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. All right. So two manner of people shall be separated in thy bowels. So it's two different spirits, you know. Uh how we how we carry ourselves and how so called white folk carry themselves is is two different, you know, uh uh styles, you know. And the one people shall be stronger than the other. Other people and the elder shall serve the younger. So when you read the story about Jacob and Esau, Esau came out first. So, yeah, 
you so-called white people the edomites they're older than us you know uh that their nation came out first esau came out first all right but we are the stronger people you know that's why you see a lot of blacks latinos native and Seminole indians you know hispanics doing hard and vigorous jobs you know and ultimately we build it, we build it up america wherever these edomites dwell at best believe they had slaves building up their kingdoms they had slaves building uh inventions and so forth you know making stuff and what they did was they took um the inventions from the slaves and so forth and they put their names on it and they became rich all right but that's part of the curses in deuteronomy 28 you know uh what's the scripture you should plant uh you should build a house but not live in it you know Roughly paraphrasing, you know, and that's what happened. We built up America for Edomites, you know, and, um, you know, we, we built up the house, but they took it, you know, it was for them, you know, everything, you know, planted vineyards and, you know, picking crop, you know, planting and picking, picking crop, you know. So, um, ultimately, the elder shall serve the younger. So, it's going to come a time. When you eat mice, is going to have to serve Jacob, us. And that's what's happened. That's what's going to happen. And we're in the process of that now. That's why you hear about Iran, the coronavirus, all these. That's what the last days is really about. It's about the actual Lord of the Bible coming back, which is Yahweh Shai, who is so called black man. You know, he's going to come right back. All right. Um, judgment is going to happen to, to the world. To all nations, especially to our people. But the Lord is going to save the remnant of Israel. He's going to save the 144,000 of all the tribes and children of Israel. You have a one third of men, women, and children that would be saved around the world. All right. So that's the true story. And that's the real, uh, that's the real uh, story or that's the real prophecy. All right. Of the last days. All right. So Esau, all right, is going to go down. His his kingdom, his world, his rulership is going to go down. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And we're going to get a scripture on that. So Genesis 25, 26 states that Esau was born before Jacob. See, all right, who came out holding unto his older brother's heel as if it was trying to pull Esau back into the womb so that he couldn't be first born but that's stupid all right that's not what that represent that represented that jacob you so-called blacks latinos hispanics native and similar indian descent all right are going to take down you so-called white people edomites all right that's what that represented uh the rulership of esau was going to come down all right and it's going to come down by the way of yahweh shot coming back who was so-called black man with white woolly hair, you know, and a white woolly beard. All right. So that's what that really represents. You know, when you look certain stuff up on Wikipedia, you know, uh, go off what you've been taught. Meaning, you know, if you learned that you was a Hebrew Israelite, you know, you look at Great Millstone because, you know, all these other camps, they don't have the truth. All right. Not being no cheerleader. But I seen it, you know, when I first came in, I went through about five or six different camps before Great Millstone. No, I'm not going to say five or six, but I say about about three of them, three or four different, maybe. Yeah, like three or four different camps, you know, and uh, I had these different uh, philosophies from these different camps and shit, you know. And what happened was I seen uh, Apostle Raka. All right. Uh, I seen him. I seen him preaching up there in New York on a video and I start to believe because what he was saying matched up with the scriptures. If you ever hear something, read something, it don't match up with the scriptures, don't fall for that. All right. That's Satan uh 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 seeking to take you out the truth. All right. All right, so I'm not trying to make this too long. I know I kinda ramble, but I'm trying to get as much information out as possible because you know, uh stuff is moving fast, all right? So all right, um, trying to pull Esau back into the womb. Okay, the name Jacob, this is where they went off. The name Jacob means he grasped the heel, which is a Hebrew idiom for deceptive behavior. No. 
This is what Jacob means. Strong's H3290. It says, Ya-a-ya-a-cob. No, it's Yaquab. All right, because there's no cob, that cob, whatever. That OB, that's not in the Hebrew. All right, so it says, uh, Yaquab, <laughs> he'll catch her. Why else? I.E., et cetera, you know, supplanter, which means to get over, a hustler, you know. And Jacob did surplant Esau, you know, dealing with the blessing, you know. And uh, just, to, just to be sure, you know, Jacob, heel holder or supplanter. All right. So that's our forefather, son of Isaac, grandson of Abraham. So, you know, you heard of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. All right. So we're going to receive the blessing. All right. That was given to our forefathers back when, you know, thousands of years ago. This is that time. All right. Um, actually, let me go back. I get off of this. Uh, now, what else? I think I was gonna read something else. Now, yeah. So, uh, Genesis twenty five thirty two. I mean twenty five thirty two. Down twenty five twenty three. All right. So you see. I'm going to go down to the bottom of the verse and it says, and the one people shall be stronger than the other and the elder shall serve the younger. So that's what uh, the blessing was about. You know, if Esau was not to give away his blessing, you know, he would have received that. All right. But he gave that blessing up. All right. <sighs> he gave it away for a morsel of meat. Salakia. Uh, so y'all can read that in the book of Genesis, twenty fifth chapter. You can read about the blessing. You know, um, I was gonna get something else. Oh yeah, now, now this is in the apocrypha, a part of the Bible. All right, uh, Christopher Columbus had it. This is how he found out. That the, the, the ten tribes of the northern kingdom were here, all right, by the way of the Apocrypha. So, you believe in this truth, you know, it's best for you to get an Apocrypha because the Apocrypha has raw, in-depth detail about uh, what would happen in the last days and who are the actual Israelites, the people that would be saved, you know. It tells in-depth detail, all right. So, for, for Esau is the end of the world, all right. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. So, oh shit. So that's what this represented. You know, when it talks about how, you know, Esau helped the heal. So this whole little, uh, this whole little phrase, that's what that represents. You know, even though they went off, you know, about trying to pull uh, Jake, uh, Esau back into the womb so Jacob can be the firstborn. You know, that's that's garbage, all right? And uh, let's see. Rejected. Oh, wow. So, look, you type it in on Google, it says, look, Esau rejected his birthright, gave up his birthright. That's what happened. He gave it up and he rejected, you know, I, I really do want to get the scripture though You know what I'm just going to go ahead and read it Because we all know that You know Jake don't like to read Okay now Let's see Mm. All right, and the first came out red all over like in hairy garment, and they called his name Esau, or Joshua. All right, so Esau came out red, all right, meaning his blood showed forth through his skin. All right, that's what leprosy was, and it still is. You know, uh, everybody back then had color, they were all brown. Different shades of brown. But Esau came, came out like an albino baby. 
That's why his name was Esau, you know. So, and, you know, it says the first, Esau was the firstborn son. And after that came his came his brother out, which is Jacob, our forefather. All right. Uh, and it's going to go on to say, you know, his hand took on Esau's heel. His name was called Jacob. Now, his name was not called Jacob because he took Esau heel. His name was called Jacob, Yaqua, all right, which means surplant because ultimately the prophecy was that, was that Jacob was going to surplant Esau. All right, and we're going to get into why he uh, surplanted uh, uh, Esau, you know. And the boys grew and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. See, the characteristics of Jacob and Esau also tell us who we are. Esau, the so-called white man, he liked to go out and hunt. You know, you see him uh, deep sea diving, you know, like back then, back in the day, you know. Uh, you know, because, you know, a lot of Jakes are getting into that now, you know. But Esau, he's a man that like to, you know, look at the hunting shows, hunting ducks, you know, uh, hunting alligators. You know what I'm saying? He's a man of the, of the wild, of the field. He's a hunter out there in the safari, you know, swimming with uh, uh, steam rays and all that, you know. And Jacob was a plain man that dwelt in tents. So Jacob, you know, us Negroes here in America, you know, we like to stay at home. Yeah, other, and other, other tribes do too. We like to stay at home or we with our parent, mainly our mother. You know what I'm saying? So that's the same thing that, uh, that's the same uh, uh, relationship that Rebecca had had with Jacob. You know, no, nah, this, this, you know, Jacob. I don't want to say he was a mama's boy. You know, I don't want to say our father was like that, but he was in tune with, you know, his mom. You know, he stayed at home. Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison. Uh, but Rebecca loved Jacob. All right, Rebecca uh, and Jacob saw the pottage. You know, he's making pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. He was hungry. All right, and Esau said to, to, uh, to Jacob, feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore, was his name called uh, uh, Edom, you know. And, uh, this also tells, you know, the reason why a lot of white folk like their food medium rare or rare. They eat bloody meat. Their forefather did the same thing. Think about it. Esau said to Jacob, feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage. All right. And Jacob said, sell me this day thy birthright. So Esau was like, hey, feed me this meat right here. And Jacob was like, well, it will sell me your birthright, you know. And look what Esau did. Esau said, behold, I am at the point to die. What profit shall this birthright do to me? <laughs> so. Esau, instead of him fasting, he wanted to fulfill, uh, fulfill the lust of the flesh. You know, his, his belly is his God. You know, I'm speaking of another scripture. You know, he he uh, <laughs> himself is his God, basically, you know. And Jacob, his power. And Jacob said, swear to me this day. And he swore unto him and he sold his birthright to Jacob. So that's where he supplanted him. He hustled him. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage. Of lentils, he did eat and drink and rose up and went his way. Thus, Esau despised his birthright. So he despised it. He didn't even care about it. All right. But Jacob did. So. Uh, uh, Salakia. So with that, I'm going to close this out. Hope this is edifying. You know, uh, do your research. Stick to the basics. Learn the basics. I'm going to do more scriptures about, uh, you know, the, the basic uh, milk scriptures, you know. So that's what happened. All right. That's why, you know, it is uh, a war amongst Jacob and Esau, you know, uh, blacks and so-called whites, you know, blacks, blacks and browns versus the whites. You know, that's the truth. All right. Genesis, the beginning, you know, so this has been going on since the beginning. All right, until Yahweh shall come back. So, with that, I'm gonna say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, 
and peace and blessings to the hopeful, the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. All right. Um, and Shalom.